Hi Unicorns! Um, well, I'm Fiona here on My Acro Life Online and I look horrible today. Basically, yesterday I filmed this whole video, it was very nice, I had my whole face on, it was it was beautiful. Um, and then I had some technical difficulties, so now I need to film a one-shot video. Um, I need to upload it without any stops in between and without trimming me, kind of like putting the camera on and off. Um, so this week's theme is an embarrassing story and I'm going to, I can't hear myself because I have a cold, um, but this week's theme is an embarrassing story and I'm going to tell you my embarrassing period story. So it was probably um, one of the first times I'd actually been to school with my period so I didn't really know that I had to change my pad very often um, and I hadn't changed it the whole day. Um, I was on the eco committee board and I had this trip and we went to a museum. The museum was the Riverside Museum which is a transport museum here in Scotland and um, well we went to this like kind of like meeting room and we were representing the school and they were filming amongst many other schools as well and we were sitting on these kind of like lime couches um, so I I didn't really notice anything at all, um, and then, and there basically, I had two of my friends. They didn't, they didn't know anything about this, um, and everyone else were. It was a mixture of boys and girls, and there were teachers and fifth years and sixth years. So they were all kind of like um, sixteen-ish ages, and I hadn't really talked to them. So, um, we got up to leave and it was everywhere. Basically the couch was almost red and oh my god, when I saw it, um, I just thought, well, everyone has been talking to me, they must have known this whole time, but they don't want to tell me because it's kind of like a bit awkward, just a bit. Um, so the cameraman who was standing in front of me but filming like the other direction, just kind of turned and looked at the chair and went as if someone had like died there. Um, I'm not sure if he caught on. Probably not. <laughs> um, and then all of the older kids were just kind of like looking at it like what the fuck. Um, I hope that they don't know it was me. They probably know it was either me or my friend. We were sitting next to each other. Basically I was at the very very end of the row so yeah they probably knew it was me. I was like at the very end of the row so they would have um, they wouldn't think, like, if it was, like, in the middle, they would have known specifically who was sitting there, but they knew it was me, because I was, like, at the very end, um, and it was just, like, everywhere, um, and then we left, and I had to wait 30 minutes, why did I say 30 minutes? I had to wait, like, a whole half an hour to get to the taxi, and the, um, and we were just kind of, like, standing there really awkwardly, because everyone knew what had happened, um, and then, and I didn't have anything with me to change, so, yeah. Um, and then we got into the taxi, and we were, like, literally this close to each other, everyone, and I was, like, in one of those seats that you put down, and they're at the back. So we were, like, all really, really close to each other, facing each other with the teacher. It's gone out of focus. With the teacher, um, a pupil, and one of my friends, I think. There it is. Um... And yeah, uh, so I had to sit on my jacket. I went all over my jacket. Um, and then I got home and I did my stuff. But uh, that was a very awkward thing because now everyone's still like, now everyone knows that and I have to face them every day at school. Um, but it was like last year, so it's all good. Um, so that was my embarrassing story. Let me know any embarrassing stories that you had and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really sorry about um, this. 